So just a quick little recap, because it's been a while since we were in class. It's been a couple of weeks. And uh, we went through the first four chakras. So started at the root chakra with the earth element with a very grounding, um, stable type of practice with a lot of stillness. And then we moved to the water element of the sacral chakra. So a very fluid, uh, creative type of practice. And then we moved to the fire element of the solar plexus. And that was a very um, empowering practice where we worked a lot with our core and building fire through the breath and through our asana. And then we did the heart chakra and that was our last one before Christmas. And that was working with the air element and a lot of uh, breath and heart opening type of um, asana practice. And so today we have moved to the throat chakra, which is our fifth chakra. And we are working with the, uh, the vibration of sound. And so um, if you read the little email that I sent out with your link, we're going to be working with mantra uh, a little bit in our practice today. So mantra is using our voices. And we use our voice at the end of every practice with the sound of OM, but we're going to be doing it with our asana. And also in our first um, couple of poses, we're going to be using our mantra which was in your email, and it is Om Jyotir Atma. And that means um, I open to the light that is my higher self. And so we're going to be working with that. And part of working with uh, mantra in our asana is it helps us to control the breath. We use the mantra, we say the, chant the mantra on the exhale. And it controls the length of the exhale and slows the exhale down, which is really a, a fabulous part of our pranayama practice that we'll be doing. And so we're going to go ahead and get started right now. So I'm going to ask you to lie down on your back um, to start. And hopefully you'll be able to see me when I lie down. And just start with your legs straight, first of all. and arms at your side. So we're just going to start by, as you inhale, raising the arms up overhead and out behind you towards the floor. And as you exhale, bringing them back down. So just working with our arm movements with our breath, the inhale, we lift up and overhead. And the exhale, the arms come back down. And try to make the movement of your arms last the entire inhale and exhale. And just keep doing a couple more breaths. I just have to adjust something on my computer. So when you complete your next breath, bend your knees and bring the soles of the feet, the heels towards your sit bones. And we're going to do the same movement, but as we inhale and reach the arms overhead, we're going to lift the hips up into bridge pose. So arms reach overhead, hips lift, and then as you exhale, return to your starting position. So continue a couple breaths just like that with the movement of the arms, the lifting of the hips on the inhale, the exhale, we return to start. Do one more just like this. And then we're going to add our mantra into this practice on the exhale. And we're also going to add an inhale retention at the top of our breath in bridge pose. So inhale, arms reach overhead, hips lift, pause at the top of your inhale, retain the breath. And then we chant on the exhale as we lower. Om Jyotir Atma. And we're going to do that two more times. And really feel into the vibration as you uh, do your chant on the exhale, retain the inhale at the top of the breath. Om Jyotir Atma. And one more time, inhaling, 
Pausing with the inhale at the top of the breath to a count of maybe two or three. Om Jyotir Atma. And then just release that movement. Draw your knees into your chest. You can rock from side to side a little bit. And then we're gonna rock from front to back and come all the way up and make your way onto hands and knees toward cat cow. So we're gonna oscillate three times through cat cow and then we'll switch it up and move from cow into child's pose and for three and then switch it again and move from cow into down dog for three. And so on our exhale, when we're moving into child's pose, and I'll cue you on this, we're gonna chant Om. So start with just regular cat cow, hands slightly ahead of your shoulders, toes can be curled under or feet flat. As you inhale, notice how the throat center opens as you lift your chin and allow the belly to drop. And then as you exhale, notice how the chin moves towards the chest as you press the floor away and curl the spine up. So this movement of the chin away from the throat, opening the throat, and then this movement of the chin into what's called Jaladhara Bandha as the chin moves towards the chest is very stimulating for the throat chakra and for the thyroid. It's like squeezing and releasing a sponge. So once you've done three of regular cat cow, come into cow pose on your inhale again, open the throat. And then as you exhale, chant Om as you move into child's pose. Om. Inhale to rise into cow. And really bringing your awareness to the throat as we move in and out. Oh. One more time with this sequence, inhaling, open the throat and exhale to Om. Oh. Inhale, cow. Open the throat center, curl your toes under, exhale down dog. And you can ohm silently here. So two more times, drop the knees on the inhale, open the throat. And as you exhale, silently ohm to yourself as you press up and back, downward facing dog, dropping your gaze towards your belly button and notice how the chin moves towards the chest into a Jaladhara Bandha. Drop the knees to inhale one last time. And exhale down dog. This time we're gonna stay in our downward facing dog. And you can walk your dog out here a little bit. And really press the top of the mat away from you. All 10 fingers pressing down into the mat. Your knees can be bent here. Your legs don't have to be straight and your heels don't need to be down on your mat. But we wanna bring length into the spine and turn your head from side to side and bring some freedom into the neck, into the throat. Take one more breath here. And then we're gonna walk our feet to the top of the mat into Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale halfway, lift the heart center and lengthen through the back of the neck here. Exhale, bow down, the belly draws in, press into the feet, rise all the way up. Draw into your heart center as we come into mountain pose. So just taking a couple breaths here in your mountain pose and bring awareness into your throat center. If you have not already connected with your ujjayi breath, begin to create that slight restriction by dropping the, the soft palate in the back of the throat so that you can actually feel the breath either in the floor of the nasal cavity or in the back of your throat as you both inhale and exhale. And this slows the breath down. 
And you should hear your breath just slightly audible like the sound of the ocean. Try to maintain that ujjayi breath through your entire practice. And then we're gonna start with a little bit of a back bend. As we inhale, reach up to the sky, maybe invite a slight back bend. We're just at the beginning of class, so don't overdo it. Exhale, bow down. Inhale, lift the heart, lengthen the back of the neck, hands to your shins or fingertips to blocks or your mat. We're gonna step back with the right foot. So we're coming into a lunge, lunge position. You can have hands on blocks here. You could even have hands on a chair to support you. But we're gonna move in and out of lunge and reverse lunge. So as we lunge, we lift the heart, lengthen through the back of the neck and the front of the throat. And then as we exhale, shift into reverse lunge. Notice how the chin gently moves towards the chest as the front leg straightens and the front toes lift. And we're gonna move in and out a couple of times. Inhale, notice the length in the throat and the back of the neck as we come forward to lunge. Exhale, reverse lunge. Inhale, come forward. Last one. Exhale, chin moves towards the chest in that shape of Jaladhara Bandha. And this time as we inhale, come forward, we're going to pivot our toes to the long side of our mat, coming into side lunges, just one time to each side. So in center, take an inhale, lengthen through the back of the neck, exhale, bend into the right knee, walk your hands over to the right. Inhale back to center, exhale, left. Inhale back to center. We're gonna pivot our toes back to the top of our mat. And we're going to plant the right hand. And I see I'm gonna be facing the wrong way. Inhale, lengthen your right arm forward. As we exhale, we're gonna twist left. So reach that left arm up. And the belly moves up at the same time that the hand and the gaze moves up. As we inhale, reach forward again, look forward. Exhale, we twist and reach up. So belly, gaze, and hand are moving in the same direction. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, twist, this is our last one. Inhale, forward, hand comes down. And we're gonna step back, downward facing dog. So take a breath in your down dog. As we inhale, come forward to your plank pose. And it might be, especially this first one, we might drop your knees and lower down knees, chin, chest, which is very opening in the throat as well. So I'm gonna demonstrate that, but lower to your belly, however you wish to get there at this part of the class. Exhale down, lengthen forward, lengthen the legs back for Cobra. Inhale to rise and baby cobra. Exhale, come down. Lift your right leg and lengthen. Lift your left, left leg and lengthen. So nice and long through the legs. Reach your arms straight ahead. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bend the elbows three times like this. Inhale, lengthen the back of your neck. Exhale, draw the elbows back, lift higher. Inhale, lengthen the back of the neck. Exhale, draw the elbows back, open, lift higher. Re release your hands to the mat, release your forehead down. Press up and back, child's pose. And then inhale, rise up, curl your toes under, lift the knees. Let's float the right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. As we exhale, we're gonna step that foot up between our hands and you can use your right hand to help it get up there. Again, hands can be on blocks or even on a chair, whatever you have a, um, available to you. So same thing on our second side. Inhale, lengthen through the back of the neck and also through the throat. 
Exhale, we move into reverse lunge and the chin moves towards the chest. Two more times, inhale, come forward to lunge. Exhale, reverse lunge. Inhale. And exhale back, just bringing awareness to the throat center. Inhale forward and we're gonna rotate our feet to the long side of our mat. One time to each side on our um, side angle or side lunge. Exhale into your one side, come back to center on the inhale, exhale to the other side. Inhale back to center and then rotate to the top of your mat. Sorry, I'm switching because I wanna be facing the camera for you. So as you come back to the top of your mat, plant your left hand, extend the right hand straight out in front of you. So same thing we did on the first side. As you exhale, twist open to the right. So belly twist right up to the sky, hand reaches, your gaze reaches up. Inhale, look forward, reach forward, exhale, twist right. One more time. Inhale. And exhale, broad through the collarbones. And as we inhale, let the hand come down, step forward into Uttanasana. Inhale, heart rises, back of the neck long. Exhale, bow down. Inhale, rise up. And draw into your heart center. Release your hands. Take a couple breaths in mountain pose. We're gonna to continue to flow, um, adding some lunges and just really keeping our awareness here. Um, just the noticing the sensations and the vibrations as we open and come into Jaladhar Bandha as a chest or chin moves towards chest. So let's go ahead and continue. This time we're gonna add a little bit of a back bend in our sun salutation. So inhale. Reach to the sky. As we exhale, release your hands to the sacrum. Inhale, lift the heart. Little back bend here. Exhale, slide your hands down the back of your thighs as you fold forward. Inhale, halfway. And exhale, step your left foot back. Coming into a lunge once again. This time we're gonna drop the back knee. Inhale, reach up to the sky, open the front body, lifting your gaze and your chin slightly. And then exhale, hands come down, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward to plank and know you can take child's pose anytime you wish as we move along. And exhale, we're gonna lower all the way down once again. And again, you can move through chaturanga, you can move knees, chin, chest, but make your way the best way for you today down to your belly, uncurl your toes, lengthen both legs. Same routine that we did. Inhale, cobra, open the throat, keep the back of the neck long, legs long. Exhale down, reach the arms forward. Inhale, rise up, maybe the legs float up. Exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, lift your gaze, lift higher. One more time. Inhale, let your gaze drop to the mat. Exhale, lift higher, look higher, and release down. Take a moment, just roll your hips from side to side, release. Press back, child's pose, same as the first round. Inhale, rise up, exhale, downward facing dog. This time a left leg floats up to the sky. And as we exhale, step it up between your hands, use your left hand to help it get there. And then we drop the back knee and inhale, reach up to the sky. Lifting the gaze, opening the front body, but keeping the front ribs contained. 
One more breath here. The exhale, the hands release down, lift the back knee, step forward into our Uttanasana. In our Uttanasana, knees can be bent here. Lift your hands and intertwine your fingers behind your bum. If you're able, you might even lift your hands away from your sacrum. Let your chin drop towards your chest in Jaladhara Bandha. Take one more breath here. And as you exhale, release your hands towards your sacrum. Inhale, release and begin to rise all the way up. Draw your hands together, come into mountain pose. Take a couple breaths here in your mountain pose before we move on to our next sequence. Again, staying with your ujjayi breath, that restriction in the back of the throat to slow the breath down and bring the awareness to that throat center. Nice smooth inhales, smooth exhales. Take one more breath here. And then we're going to continue our flow into another sequence. So inhaling, reaching up to the sky. Let's invite that back bend. Exhale, hands to the sacrum. Inhale, lift the heart, invite the back bend, elbows back. Exhale, slow down. Hands to the back of the, of the pounds. Inhale. Lift the heart long through the back of the neck. Exhale, step the right foot back. Pivot that foot down for warrior two. Inhale, rise up for your warrior two. Checking in to make sure your knee is right over your ankle and that the knee is collapsing forward. Extending the arms out softly, but allowing the neck to be soft. Stay in your warrior. I just have to make an adjustment here. <laughs> His beat kicks in and it gets very noisy. So in your warrior two still, we're going to inhale into peaceful warrior. So the front arm reaches to the sky and notice how the throat opens as you lift and reach up and the whole left side body opens. Take one more breath here with throat open and then returning on the exhale to warrior two allowing the hands to come behind, intertwining your fingers, lift the heart, open the throat as we exhale, moving into humble warrior. So folding forward, <clears throat> left shoulder and the inside of your front knee, let the top of the head drop so that your chin softly moves towards the chest, again in that expression of Jaladhara Bandha. Notice how the throat feels here. You might feel a little bit of compression or even pressure as you continue to work with your ujjayi breath. Next inhale, we will rise up, release the arms, warrior two. Let's do peaceful warrior one more time. Open the throat as you look up and lift up, reach up. The exhale is taking us into our side angle. So I'm going to say, let's all of us bring elbow to the forearm here and reach your right arm, your top arm, straight up to the sky to start. And so we want lots of space through the collarbones here. And we're looking up to the sky. And then really reach up one more time, bend your elbow, bring the hand to the back of the head so that the hand is supporting the head. And with that support, lean back into your hand. Draw the chin back, draw the palate back. And notice how that opens the front body a little bit more. Once you've found your extension, leaning back, keep everything there, extend your top arm overhead. Keep looking to the sky, looking to your bicep, one more breath here. And then our next inhale, we're going to rise. Coming all the way up. Turn your toes to the long side of your mat. 
feet are parallel, close your eyes and just feel into your inner landscape. Feel all that is in this moment. Feel your breath moving through the throat. Feel energy moving through the body. One more breath here. And then let's intertwine the fingers behind the back. Lift the heart as you inhale, lift your gaze, the throat opens as we exhale, folding forward. And you might have a little bend in your knees here. Allow the top of the head to drop towards the earth and the chin to softly drop towards your chest. Move your shoulders away from your ears. One more breath. And then slowly inhale, leading with the chest, long through the back of the neck. Come all the way up, release your hands. Turn your left toes to the top of your mat. Bring the right hand down, pivot your back foot back onto your toes. And inhale, reach left hand to the sky, coming into a twist and look left. Maybe look all the way up to your fingertips, up to the ceiling. One more breath here. And release the hand down, step back, downward facing dog. So you might choose to stay here in downward facing dog and take a little rest. You might choose to take child's pose if that is what your body needs today. Or you might choose to take a vinyasa coming forward to plank pose. And you can do exactly what we did the first two rounds or some of you might want to lower through chaturanga and maybe rise up into upward facing dog, keeping the throat open and then exhaling back into downward facing dog, allowing the gaze to drift towards the belly button so that the chin softly moves towards the chest. Take another long breath here. Pressing the top of the mat away from you. And then we're going to float the right leg to the sky and three-legged dog. As you exhale, sorry, as you inhale, right leg is up, look towards your hands, towards the top of your mat. And as you exhale, rise high, draw your knee towards your chest, your chin towards your chest, your knee towards your nose, sorry. So again, we're coming into that Jaladhara Bandha. We're gonna do that two more times. Inhale, lift your gaze towards your hands, so throat is open. Exhale, curl it in, chin towards the chest, knee towards the nose, really rise as high as you can. One more time, inhale. Slightly lift your gaze, exhale. Knee draws in, chin draws in. And this time from here, we're gonna step that foot up between our hands, follow through with the left, inhale, halfway lift, long through the back of the neck. Exhale, bow down, inhale, rise up, hands come together, maybe inviting a little back bend. Come back into your mountain pose, top of your mat. Take a couple breaths in mountain pose before we move on to our second side. Smooth inhale, smooth exhale, staying connected with your ujjayi breath and feeling that sensation of the breath through the back of the throat as we slow the breath down by dropping that soft palate at the back of the throat. And both your inhale and your exhale. So we're gonna go ahead and move through second side. So again, let's invite that little back bend. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, hands to your sacrum, elbows out behind you, inhale. 
open the throat, invite that back bend, exhale, fold forward, sliding the hands down the back of the legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step the left foot back, pivoting that left foot down for warrior two, and then rising into your warrior two position, extending the arms softly without scrunching your shoulders up towards your ears, knee right over your ankle. Still flowing with your ujjayi breath here. Slowing the breath down on both your inhale and your exhale, looking over your middle finger of your right hand, your front arm. Your next inhale, moving into peaceful warrior. So flipping that palm, inhale up, back arm can be on your thigh or the small of your back. Lifting the gaze as you lift the arm up and overhead, throat is open. Exhale into your warrior two. Releasing the hands to intertwine behind you. You might use a strap if you can't intertwine your hands here or press knuckles into each other. Inhale, lift the heart, open the throat. Exhale, we fold forward, humble warrior. So right elbow into the inside of the knee, head drops, chin moves towards the chest in that uh, shape of Jaladhara Bandha. Stay connected with your Ujjayi flow of breath here. One more round. And then your next inhale, we rise back up. Throat opens once again, releasing the arms long in either direction. And then peaceful warrior. Looking up, opening the throat. So we're really working with that throat chakra with the opening and closing, squeezing that thyroid gland and then allowing a new rush of blood flow to enter. Take one more breath. Moving into side angle, forearm to the knee. Release that left arm up to the sky and get really long through your collarbones, reaching up from, from the floor and up to the ceiling, looking up to the ceiling. And then bend the left elbow, hand comes to the back of the head, support the head and lean back into your hand. Lean into that support. It's almost like you're inviting a back bend here. And then go ahead and extend. Keep everything open as you extend the arm. Creating even more length on that left side body. One more breath here. And the exhale, we rise up. Turn your toes parallel once again. Take a moment's pause for noticing that inner landscape. Notice the energy, notice the breath. Stay connected with your ujjayi breath. Okay, we're gonna go into our forward, forward fold, prasarita. Hands come to your sacrum, just like we did in our beginning of our sun salutation. As you inhale, Move into a back bend, elbows out behind you, lift the heart, open the throat. And then as we exhale, we fold forward, slide your hands down the back of the thighs. Hands can come to the ankle or the shins or even the feet, depending what's available to you. Tiny micro bend in the knees. And then we're going to cross our arms. It doesn't matter which one crosses over first. I've got my right over left, and we're gonna switch it up. So as you cross your arms and release your head down, again, we're creating that little bit of um, constriction in the throat chakra area. So release down into it and also into the back of the shoulders. So these are all related. And then reach your arms wide. We're gonna change the cross. So whichever one was in front the first time will now be behind the second time. Again, release your chin down. Top of the head moves towards the floor. One more round of your ujjayi breath here. 
tiny micro bend in the knees, pressing down strong with both feet. Release your hands to your hips, leading with your heart to come all the way up, nice and slow, strong back. Turn your toes out 45 degrees. We're going to move into fiery angel or goddess pose. So reaching the arms up to the sky as we exhale, bend the elbows, bend the knees. You want your knees tracking the same direction as your toes. So just your feet accordingly. Take a couple breaths here and we're going to um, use our breath to chant Om while staying in the pose. So we'll inhale or reach up to the sky, maybe take a gentle pause at the top of your inhale. And as we exhale, we'll own. So inhale one more time, reach up. Oh. Inhale, reach up two more times. Pause. Oh. Last one, inhale, reach up, pause at the top of your inhale, retain the breath. Oh. Straighten the legs, release the arms, bring your feet parallel. Take a breath or two here, maybe even close your eyes. Feel into that vibration you created. Feel into the throat, the heart center. Maybe you even feel tingling or energy moving here. And then you can open your eyes, turn your toes to the top of your mat once again. And left hand comes down to the mat. Pivot your toes so that you're back on your toes on the back side, and we're going to twist to your right. So inhale, reach to the sky, look up to the sky, twisting right, lifting up out of your bottom arm. One more breath. And exhale, hand comes down. Step back, downward facing dog. Same choices as before. You might come into child's pose, you might stay in down dog, or take a vinyasa, take a flow, uh, whatever that looks like for you today. And then we're gonna meet back in downward facing dog for our um, dancing dog. <clears throat> Whatever pose you are in, stay connected with your ujjayi breath and to the awareness of the throat center. And as we all meet in downward facing dog, we're going to bring awareness to that left leg. As we inhale, left leg up and slightly lift your gaze towards your hands as you come into three-legged dog. As you exhale, bend the knee, draw the knee towards the nose and chin towards the chest pressing the floor away from you. Inhale, lift your gaze slightly towards the hands as the leg raises up. Exhale, curl it in. And one last time, inhale up. And exhale, knee to nose, nose to knee, chin to chest, press up. And then step that foot up between your hands. Let the right leg follow through. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, bow down and inhale, rise up, reach up to the sky, maybe invite a back bend and draw into your heart center. Again, take a moment for uh, noticing what is in your inner landscape, maybe closing your eyes for a breath or two before we move into our next sequence. Staying connected to your ujjayi breath. And we're gonna start with the right leg. So from your mountain pose, take an inhale, 
As you exhale, bend the knees, step back with the right foot. And just a, like a 45 degree angle on that right foot. We're moving uh, dynamically in and out of warrior two to start. I'm uh, sorry, warrior one. So as you inhale, reach to the sky, bend your front knee. As you exhale, come back to your starting position. Just two more times like that, just getting warmed up for a warrior one. And maybe each time the front knee might bend a little bit more. One more time, inhale, reach up and exhale, come back to your start. This time as we inhale and reach up, maybe bringing your finger, your hands together, your palms together, or you can keep them wide if that's more appropriate for your shoulders. And maybe, maybe the front knee is bending a little bit more. Take one more breath here, slightly lifting your gaze. And then on your next exhale, releasing the arms out to the side, palms facing up, slight bend in the elbows. We're going to work with breath retention here again. And as well, our mantra of Om Jyotir Atma. So take an inhale. Collarbones lift, heart lifts. Pause at the top of your inhale, maybe to a count of three if you're able, comfortably. And the exhale, we're going to chant. Om Jyotir Atma. Inhale and retain the top of the inhale. Om Jyoti Atma. One more round. Inhaling, retaining the inhale. Om Jyoti Atma. Take one more inhale here. And as you exhale, hands come to your heart center. Step to the top of your mat into mountain pose. Release your hands, close your eyes, and just notice. Notice the amount of energy that we created and the vibrations that resonate in every cell in your body. And say that sound moves matter. And when we chant, we help all of our cells to vibrate at the same speed, same vibration. Coming into alignment with the vibration of our voice. One more breath. And then we're going to go ahead and move into a second side. So taking an inhale, and as we exhale, bending the knees, stepping back with the left foot. So same thing that we did on the first side. First, moving in and out dynamically, and then moving into our breath retention and mantra. So inhale, reach up, bend the knee. Exhale, straighten, release the arm. Inhale, reach up each time, possibly a little bit deeper. Exhale. Come out. Last one. Inhale. We'll reach up. Maybe lifting the gaze a little bit. Exhale. Come out. Inhale. Reach up. Maybe bringing the palms to touch. Maybe the middle finger releases. Lengthening up but keeping the belly and the ribs contained here. Take one more inhale breath. And the exhale, releasing the arms wide, palms reaching up to the sky. Or sorry, palms facing up to the sky. <laughs> Whoops, I have so many obstacles here. Slight bend in your elbows. Front knee remains bent here. So we'll start with our breath retention. Take an inhale, lift the heart, keep the belly contained. Retain the inhale. And then we chant on the exhale. Om Jyoti Atma. 
Inhale, lift the heart. Pause at the top. Om Jyotir Atma. One more round. Inhale, pausing at the top. I open to the light that is my higher self. Om Jyoti Atma. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, hands to heart center. And step to the top of your mat in mountain pose. Take a couple breaths here. You can release your hands if you wish. Close your eyes, feel into that inner landscape. You might still be able to feel that vibration resonating into the inner chamber of your body. Two more breaths here. Taking this time for present moment awareness. We're going to flow down to the floor. Allow your inhale to lift the arms and float them up, front of the throat open. Exhale, fold forward, chin moves towards the chest, belly draws in. Inhale, back of the neck long. Exhale, step back, downward facing dog. And then drop to your knees, coming into child's pose. So as you come into child's pose, you can come into classic child's pose with arms alongside your shins. And we're gonna move in and out of child's pose here. So as we inhale, Rise up on your knees, reach up to the sky. Many of you who practice with me regularly know where we're going. Exhale, as we exhale, bring the hands to the back of the sacrum and come back down into child's pose. Inhale, rise up, reach up, open the throat, look up. Lengthen the spine. As we exhale, chin moves down, spine curls, come to child's pose. One more time, inhale, reach up, lengthen up, open the throat. This time as we exhale, stay upright, keep the spine long, but re whoops, release the hands to the sacrum, elbows out behind you. We're moving into camel pose. So you can have the feet flat or you can curl your toes under. And we're gonna start by lifting the heart before you go into your camel pose. We're going to keep the chin um, kind of tucked and be the last thing that we release open. Um, and there's many hand positions. You can keep your hands here for your camel. You can intertwine your fingers or you can reach towards your heels. So inhale, lift the heart. Remember, we're keeping our chin parallel to the floor right now. Spine is long, elbows out behind you, shoulder uh, bones back. Keep lifting and then begin to invite your back bend to keep the chin parallel. Inviting that back bend, maybe reaching to your heels, maybe staying where you are, lifting the heart a little higher. And now go ahead and release the chin, open the throat. Allow your breath to continue to flow. Don't worry, I won't make you chant here. <laughs> One more breath. And then we're coming back upright. Hands to your heart center, chin parallel to the floor once again, and feel the energy flow through the front body, especially. And the heart chakra and the throat chakra are very closely related. And the throat chakra is in between the mind and the heart and it integrates the wisdom of both for creative expression. And then you can release your sit bones towards your heels. If this is comfortable, you can sit here for a few moments. 
If not, you can move directly into child's pose where we're all going to meet for a few breaths. And just notice any sensations in your, um, in your throat as you stay connected to your ujjayi breath. Breathe into your back body, especially into the upper back, into the kidneys. And then find your way to a seat. And I'll admit, I forget the name of this twist that we're moving into. I call it deer pose twist, but that is not the name. <laughs> so uh, come seated so that your knees are bent, your feet are out to the left and knees are bent both uh, out to the right. Your top shin rests into your bottom arch. So my left shin is re resting on the arch of my right foot. And then sitting up nice and upright here, we're going to be twisting to our right. So left hand come across to the knee, right hand comes out behind. Um, and you also have the option, some of you who are maybe a little more flexible or have long arms like I do, your fingers can tuck under that front knee or just have your hand on the knee. So we're twisting to the right. And as we twist to the right, we're really opening through the throat and through the collarbones here. The belly is twisting right. It's almost like we're, we're moving our right kidney towards our left sit bone to give you a little bit of an internal visual. So keeping everything where it is, simply turn your head to look over your front shoulder and turning the head to the left as much as is comfortably possible and then tilting the head back. And so notice how this creates that nice openness all through the throat, right from the ears, through the chest, through the shoulders and through the throat area. So it's a back bend with a little bit of a twist and an excellent pose for our throat chakra and also the heart chakra. Take one more breath here. And then we release both hands to your knees and just sit here for a breath in center. And then we're just going to switch to the other side. So send your feet over to the right, top shin in the arch, right hand to the opposite knee, left hand out behind you. And again, same option here to tuck your fingers underneath the, the knee and twisting to your left. So belly button twist left. Chin is just parallel to the floor right now. And think about your left kidney moving towards your right sit bone as you twist, not forcing, but just energetically moving in that direction. And then keeping everything in your twist, simply turn your head to look over that right shoulder. And then tilt the head back slightly, opening the throat, the side all the way up to the ear, through the chest and the left shoulder. This particular pose really tells you if you are tight in your throat and your chest muscles. One more breath here. And then we release, unwind to center both hands to both knees. And just pause here for a moment. And then we're going to, hopefully all of you have a block or something similar to a block to use for a prop. We're going to go into bridge pose and then supported bridge and supported shoulder stand. So some of you who regularly do shoulder stand, you might choose to not do the supported version, um, but I'm going to demonstrate the supported version. Um, you can choose at home if you wish to do full shoulder stand and plow pose um, or halasana. 
um, but I'm going to demo, we'll all do bridge and then I will demo supported bridge with supported shoulder stand and you choose your version, uh, the one I'm showing or the regular version. So lie on your back, knees bent to start and heels towards your sit bones. And a couple of options with your arms in bridge pose, you can bend the elbows, fingertips pointing to the sky and use the pressing the elbows into the floor to activate as you lift up or hands at your side. And as you lift, walk the shoulders underneath, intertwine your fingers and press the forearms down. So again, you notice here, we're moving in on that, that Jaladhara Bandha but not because we're moving our chin down, our chin stays stable, but because our chest is moving towards the chin. So creating that same action of the bandha or the lot here. So everybody should be in some version of bridge pose right now. Heart is opening and notice that little bit of restriction in the throat as you continue to stay with your ujjayi breath for one more round. And then we slowly lower down, releasing your shoulders. If you have a prop, such as a block, we're going to move into supported bridge. So depending how um, open your body is, you might have it on the low end or the medium or on the high. I'm going to take medium. So on this next round, we lift up, lift the hips and slide the block under your sacrum. So the bony part of the back of the pelvis. And your hands could just either be by your side or pointing up to the sky. So this is supported bridge. I'll take a minute to get into your variation of it. And then move, draw one knee in and then the other knee in, and then straighten both legs up together. So this is our supported shoulder stand. So reaching through the balls of the feet, legs are together. So it's a bit of a back bend. We've got that shape of Jaladhara Bandha. We're not moving our chin, but our chest has moved towards the chin. Some of you might be in full shoulder stand and that's fine but we're gonna stay here for a few breaths. So this brings a lot of blood flow um, into the throat area. And you might feel that almost like pressure or fullness in the throat and in the neck. And if you're in full shoulder stand, the chest has moved even closer towards the chin. So creating that restriction like squeezing a sponge. And then when we release out of it, it allows all that blood flow to flow into the throat chakra area. So when we have a balanced and healthy energy in our throat chakra, we're able to, as I said earlier, express ourselves creatively and express ourselves um, with the wisdom of the heart and the mind with kindness and compassion and express our boundaries, healthy boundaries and creativity, creative expression. So those of you who might be in full shoulder stand, you might move into halasana or plow pose here by reaching the feet overhead towards the floor behind you. Those of you that are in the supported shoulder stand that I am demoing, you can bend your knees and then one foot down, the other foot down. Pause here for a moment before you come completely out. And when you feel ready, lift the hips, slide the block out and come on down and just pause here. Just letting everything settle once again. Those of you who are in plow pose, we're going to be making our way into fish pose. So we had the compression of the throat. We now bring the hands under um, the buttocks, straighten your legs, and then inhale, come up onto your forearms, onto your elbows, 
open the heart, lift the heart and let the head slide. You kind of the whole body slides back, just letting your head touch lightly, but keeping the heart lifted. So now the throat is very open in this last back bend that we are doing. We all should be moving into a version or variation of fish pose. And then when you're ready to release, just release the arms out from underneath you. And again, coming here to pause for a moment. You might draw your knees into your chest. You might rock from side to side. And then we're making our way into your final Shavasana. So grab your socks if you need them, maybe a blanket. We'll have a short Shavasana and then we'll move into a little bit of mantra and meditation to end our class. Um, but I want you to absorb all of this energy that we created through class in a gentle Shavasana. So set yourself up in your Shavasana And as you settle in, bringing the thought of the meaning of our mantra, I open to the light that is my higher self. And for a moment, as you make your way into Shavasana, lift your chin with head down on the mat, lift your chin, open the throat, and then slowly draw your chin towards your chest. And then find somewhere in the middle that feels comfortable. And then roll your head to the right and roll your head to the left. And then come back to center and find that, that center point. And then allow the next few moments of stillness. I'm going to invite you to possibly stay in your Shavasana for your meditation. So we're a little short on time and I don't want to cut your Shavasana short. Um, some of you may prefer to be seated for our meditation. So you can either stay right where you are, relaxing, or roll to your side and make your way up to a seat at this time.
So wherever you're at, lying or seated, I invite you to bring your awareness to your base, to your seat, to that element of earth and solidity. Inhaling and exhaling down into the base. And on your next inhale, draw the breath down into the bowl of the pelvis, the fluidity of your breath and the flow of creativity of the water element. And with your next inhale, bring the awareness to the belly, to the navel center, the solar plexus. And feel that warm glow of fire here. Warming the fire of empowerment. And on your next breath, allow the breath to be like wings of the heart center. To allow the air to expand the chest. And exhale, release. And on this next inhale, we move up to the throat and take a moment here to be quiet in your own being and listen to what's inside. Underneath all that you do, all that you create, say, hear, Underneath all that, listen deeper. What is your truth underneath? Let the resonance of your being vibrate with that essential inner truth. This is a step towards wholeness and expansion and depth of being. And the mantra of Om is the sum total of all vibrations and the origin of sound. So if you're lying down, you may make your way to a seat now and we will end with three rounds of OM together. <clears throat> So take a nice deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out your mouth and as you do so, let your chin drop slightly into Jaladhara Bandha. And as you inhale, lift the chin. This time as we exhale, we'll chant Om. Om. Two more rounds like that. Inhale. Oh. Feel that vibration. One more round. here. Feel that inner resonance of the vibration within your body, within that chamber of sound. Your own unique vibration. And then let your eyes gently float open, bringing your awareness back into the room. Namaste.